Okay, picking up where we left off in the last video, I wanted to talk about what is commonly referred to as the function argument in Aristotle. It's his proof for uh, what happiness is or how, how he sets out to discover what happiness is, I should say. It's his methodology in a sense. And he says, look, if I want to figure out how something works, uh, or I want to figure out um, how to make something work effectively, I have to figure out what it does, what its essence is, what its nature is. In other words, if I want to make something work perfectly, I have to understand how it works and what it is, what it is essentially. And so looking at the human being, what are we? What is our nature? Another way of thinking of this is, what are our needs? What, what needs do I have? What, what makes me distinct as a human being? We already said choice does that and responsibility. But what is it about me that's, that everybody has in common? What is, it about a, what is it about a human being that everybody has in common? And what is particular to the human being, among other things, um, in, in, and uh, that makes it different from animals? And if I can figure out what, what human nature is, or what the human essence is, what it is in itself, I can figure out how to make it work properly. And I can figure out what its needs are and satisfy those needs, okay? So I need to know what I am and what my nature is to figure out how I can flourish, okay? And uh, a great, uh, Aristotle thinks most people aren't happy because they don't treat themselves as what they are or like what they are. In other words, they treat themselves like they're animals, right? What is a human being? Is a human being merely an animal? If so, then I should treat myself like an animal because I only have animal desires and animal pleasures and that's it. Or is the human being something different than an animal? Does it have does it have animal desires, but does it have other desires or needs? Does a human being is a human being just I mean, so think about that. This is why this is so important to philosophically reflect on happiness. Because knowing and having a conception of what a human being is, and no doubt you already do, will lead to how you think you should live your life. If I think a human being is, for example, a spiritual being or a rational being, then I'll try to satisfy those spiritual and rational needs. If I think I'm just an evolved ape like uh, Nietzsche thinks, right? I'm not going to live in quite the same manner as I would uh, with a different um, picture of humanity or a different anthropology. So for Aristotle, your anthropology is so important in, in figuring out what would make a human being happy. And Aristotle defines the human being then. He, Aristotle's anthropology is the following. The human being is the rational animal, the zoon, logon, ekon, the animal that has reason, or logos. Reason, and uh, the Greek word logos um, just means uh, rationality or thought or even speech. We are different from animals because we have speech and reason. And since we have reason and speech, that means we have rational needs. Given that we're the rational animal, we have reason and we have, and because we have reason, we have choice. We're rational. That means we have rational needs. And happiness, therefore, then, must have something to do with rationality and our rational nature. Okay? So that's the function argument for Aristotle. What is a human being? A human being is a rational animal. Therefore, happiness for Aristotle must be in accord with rationality. And this is Aristotle's definition of happiness. He says, happiness is an activity in the mind or in the soul in accordance with logos or in accordance with rationality. Happiness is an activity in the mind or an activity in the soul in accordance with reason. An activity in the soul in accordance with reason. That, that question will definitely be on the test. What is Aristotle's definition of happiness? It's an activity in the soul in accord with, in accord with reason. Okay? So, uh, uh, Aristotle starts with that sort of premise. A human being is a rational being, and happiness, therefore, has something to do with rationality. 